this is Shamji Shivarika from Bloggers Ideas and today I am going to do a detailed review of Chris Hadfield's Masterclass. Masterclass course by Chris Hadfield will teaches you about space and space exploration. I am here to assist you to figure if this masterclass is fruitful enough for you to invest your money on. Before anything else, you should know that Masterclass is the place where you get exclusive access to a plethora of information by the top ranking professionals in their particular field. But first, let me do a quick introduction to this Masterclass platform. So if you want to take a course on Masterclass, you can choose any one course of your choice from $90 and access it for a lifetime. And you can pay $180 for a year and can have access to all other courses available in Masterclass. I strongly suggest you to take an all access pass as the curated content of the course that they have is really amazing and you will definitely get to learn a lot from the best teachers and their industries. Just to show you a quick overview of Masterclass homepage, here is the profile. Masterclass community is where you can start a discussion on any course, topic or network with fellow students who have signed up for those courses. Chris Hadfield is someone who has answers to all the questions that would arise in mind of a young child laying on the grass, looking up at the dark and less possibilities. A dream that everyone hoped to explore at some point in their life. Observing the world, we could, as our homes, exploring space, floating in the oblivion and feeling the surface of the night queen. Chris, a Canadian-based astronaut, spent over 166 days in space, commanded the ISS, International Space Station. Previously, was a RCAF fighter pilot. In this masterclass, Hadfield speaks about various aspects of space, rocket, trainings of an astronaut, and future of the space exploration. Talking about Chris Hadfield, Chris Austin Hadfield is a Canadian retired astronaut, engineer, and former Royal Canadian Air Force fighter pilot. The first Canadian to walk in space, Hadfield has flown two space shuttle missions and served as a commander for the International Space Station. Hadfield was inspired as a child when he watched the Apollo 11 moon landing on TV. He attended high school in Oakville and Milton in southern Ontario and earned his glider pilot license as a member of the Royal Canadian Air Cadet. After joining the Canadian Armed Forces, he earned an engineering degree at the Royal Military College. He learned to fly various types of aircraft in the military and eventually became a test pilot, flying several experimental planes as a part of an exchange program with the United States Navy and United States Air Force. He combined a master's degree in aviation system at the University of Tennis and Space Institute. Currently, Hadfield can be seen as the co-creator and host of the international acclaimed BBC series Astronauts and he is co-hosting with actor Will Smith, the National Geographic series One Strange Rock directed by Darren and Hadfield is also the producer of the celebrated Red Earth series on YouTube and the creator of the on-stage celebration generator which combines science, comedy and music for the sold-out audience. Additionally, Colin Hatfield is an adjunct professor at the University of Waterloo. Giving you the course description, the Hatfield's Masterclass consists of 29 video lessons that are all exclusive in the Masterclass. Hatfield has had an illustrious career, one that is of high prestige, earning a status that all kids dream of and aspire to achieve. The lesson begins with a brief introduction of Chris himself as well as what to expect from the masterclass. And in the conclusion, he speaks about the future of space exploration. There is a bonus lesson in which Hadfield speaks about the journey and personal thoughts on how to achieve your goals. No matter what turn you life takes, 
Harfield talks about each and every aspect an astronaut has to work and deal with. He explains rockets and how they are actually function. Not just that, a 97-page PDF workbook is also provided in this masterclass that gives a brief knowledge about everything that is to this masterclass. It can be referred back to be a better understanding and of various aspects covered in the masterclass. The workbook is really, really helpful and believe me, it helps you a lot while watching the masterclass because it clears all your thoughts and ideas. So now let's take a walk through each section. First, inside a rocket, how do they work? As Hatfield puts it, it is very simple to propel an object into space. One would require certain essential elements such as fuel and oxygen to burn, aerodynamic surfaces and gimbaling engines to steer, and an opening for the burn of fuel to come out to from as to provide enough thrust. That's essentially how a rocket works. The craft or the shuttle that needs to be propelled into the space compromises a small part of the rocket, whereas the remaining of the rocket acts as a container for the fuel and as there is no free supply of oxygen in the space. The rockets have to carry their own provision of oxygen to burn from in order to provide the thrust. The let out of the burning material is carried out through the opening in the bottom of the rocket. The force of which affects the upward movement of the rocket and later on is used to steer the rocket. Next question, how does it feel? Chris explains the scientific of the days of the launch, how it marks the culmination of years of hard work, sacrifice and the feeling of your vision becoming reality. Hadfield says, the experience of turning through the corner and seeing your spaceship that what is comes to be, it's not a spaceship, it's your spaceship. Winging at the crowd, realizing your dream becoming reality. Focus is consistent, yet the feeling itself is surreal. Hadfield explains the few moments before the launch how every crew member is so focused working like a machine to examine and rectify everything before the launch. And as the count narrows down to zero and all the engines in night, your entire world comes to here and now. The ride is intensely physical with G-force thrice the normal and rough high frequency vibration as the vehicle shoulders its way through the thick atmosphere. The blue sky starts to gradually darken till the time it becomes completely black. That's when you know that you have left the atmosphere and entered space. So the next question, what is orbital mechanism? Orbital mechanics or astrodynamics is the application of balasets and celestial mechanics to the practice problems concerning the motion of the rocket and other spacecrafts. The motion of this object is usually calculated from Newton's law of motion and law of universal gravitation. Generally, the space of the launch is located as near as possible to the equator which minimizes the advantage of velocity of Earth's rotation. More the orbital velocity a rocket gets from Earth, the less fuel it requires to reach orbital speed, which increases its efficiency and life. Next, capsule design. Spaceship. Capsule design. A capsule must provide for the basic fundamental human needs, air, water, food, and shelter. Being on Earth, such basic necessities can be met, but to be in space away from all the abundance of resources available, the availability of essential becomes paramount. Nothing that happens in space is similar to that on Earth. The wetlessness and the surrounding vacuum complicates everything, even the basic movements. Spaceships have come a long way since the beginning of exploration. However, the current technology still has its sources back to structure from the first design. Moving to the next, navigation. The navigation in space depends on the understanding which way the shuttle is 
pointing or moving. The sensors in the shuttle makes use of the stars to figure out its location. In case of computer failure, the astronauts are required to construct a 3D reference frame by marking the ship's position relative to the stars using a tiny telescope in order to know which way the ship is pointing in space. The Earth's magnetic field can be used to determine north and south direction. The drag on the upper part of the ship gives an idea about the altitude. Multiple GPS trackers on the shuttle aid in the tracking process. Knowing where you are relative to Earth is a key part of navigation in space. Hence, the astronauts use a combination of visual techniques and instruments in order to figure out their position in space. Moving to the next point, Navigating to International Space Station, that is ISS. The International Space Station orbits the Earth. Hence, the docking process is a complex procedure and demands an awful lot of precision. Both the ships and ISS go at the speed of 17000 plus mph. It is indeed a miraculous process. The mission control provides the information for manager and satellite farm tracking locations of both the vehicles. Process the information and formulate a set of instructions that are sent on board in order to be carried out by the astronauts to safely dock the ship with the ISS. Moving to the next astronaut training, forget the movies. The movies have shown an stereotypical image of the space as well as the astronauts. The portrayal of the personalities of an astronaut is overly dramatized for the sake of entertainment. The reality is far from it. An astronaut is required to have a cool head and must be calm and composed and must be able to perform efficiently, executing high complex tasks under extreme pressure. Moving to the next, ASKIN. An ASKIN stands for Astronaut Candidate. Once you make it through the selection of Astronaut Candidate, you are considered as an ASKIN. Here, you find yourself at the bottom of the stack from where you have to make your own way up through years to work in order to reach astronaut training. And that hard earned entry marks the beginning of another journey. Moving to the next point, expertise in everything. One might enter into the system being an expert in certain particular field, but in the process of becoming an astronaut, one must learn to become an expert in everything. Three says that when you are in space, often there is one to ask. Hence, one must know everything from the rocket's work to the weather patterns, geology, electronics, repair, and medical procedures. Because it is a very difficult task to be in space and carry out all your, all your activities very efficiently. Talking about the entire class, the above sessions were just an introduction to this insightful masterclass by Chris Hadfield herself. Hadfield has never before done anything like this and this video lectures are 100% exclusive only for masterclass subscribers. In the full class, you get an entire access to 29 video lectures as well as the workbook. Here he goes in depth on answering questions on how astronauts prepare themselves, how a rocket functions and its technicalities, past, present, future of the space exploration and his personal story and experiences. How does the ISS function? How does an astronaut prepare their body for the space? How does a normal day of an astronaut in space looks like? How does it feel to observe the Earth from above? How do astronauts prepare for a spacewalk? Why do astronauts need to learn survival skills? What is the future of explorations? How much does the exploration cost? What are the possibilities of Mars being our second home? If you had similar questions on your mind and are desperate for looking answers, this masterclass is exactly for you and you would learn a lot without a doubt, gain immense information from it.
So now let's talk about some pros about this masterclass. So this masterclass is absolute exclusive. All her 29 videos are exclusive only on masterclass with the tragedy of content. You will get complete access to all of these videos and in depth teaching about space rockets, how to become an astronaut along with teaching all the space explorations are highly valuable opportunity. Opportunities like this should not be missed, where you get to learn from the most accomplished figures in this world, in fact, in this universe. You also get a 97-page PDF workbook that gives a summary of complete masterclass that can be referred back anytime. Get all your questions answered in this community session. Chris talks about rocket, astronaut training, spaceship, IS, and the future of space exploration which envoys a great deal of knowledge for the young curious minds in the bonus video lessons. Adil talks about the life journey and all his habits he accumulates in the order to achieve his goal and inspiration. Not only people interested in the topic of space and space exploration, but also people who are admitting to achieve their goals and reach their complete potential. Who should opt for this course? Isn't this a big question? So let me answer you. This course is good sent for the curious minds who have a deep love for space and space explorations. This course is immediately knowledgeable for the people who aspire to someday become an astronaut. The vast amount of knowledge that in this masterclass contain is second to none and would be beneficial for the development of the future generation of the astronauts and space explorers. Such is the level of knowledge that is, this could inspire a whole generation that could shape into the future of world and human civilization as a whole. This course isn't just for one interested in space and astrology, but there's something for everyone in this masterclass. Chris Hadfield is one of the most sufficient and successful personalities learning from his life journey, his ideologies, his thought process and his commitments towards the goal will surely inspire you and the next generation to dream big and never lose hope. Hadfield has importance of hard work, says that it will surely someday help you realize your dreams and fulfill your every ambition for which you work hard. Chris is a former fighter pilot, engineer, test pilot and astronaut, commander of the ISS and currently is working on numerous educational pro projects as well as documentaries that teaches us about space. With years of experience and tragedy of knowledge, just listening to him would amount of help in a great deal of learning no matter what field you might be in. This masterclass is a treasure and I would really recommend you to go and watch it. Take this masterclass, take down the workbook and learn. Learn about space, life, the importance of hard work and what not. So now it is time for me to share my honest review. Every kid has at some point looked up in the night sky and dreamed of someday discovering it, exploring the endless possibilities, discovering what's out there, what all marvel to the spectacle of human pushing into boundaries to the extent which is unprecedented. When the night's beauty come with gas, when the first human landed on it and it wasn't so distinct anymore, the amount of possibilities it exposed inspired the whole generation to dream big and never lose hope. With all of that, a lot of questions arose in my mind as it must have with other as well. The major question being how, how and how. And I found the answers to them in this course. Chris taught me about how the rocket works, how space is like and everything that is required to leave Earth's atmosphere and enter space. I learned immensely from this course. The knowledge that this course has involved upon in priceless and worth every second I invested in it. This course taught me the importance of dreaming big and not stopping there, but rather actively working towards achieving them. And most importantly, value of hard work. So now getting to the conclusion part. 
so i hope you guys really really enjoyed this review video we would love to your thoughts about the same in the comment section below also i highly highly recommend kids feels master class on space exploration and if you wish to pursue this you will find all the details to this master class in the description box below also if you really like this review then please like share this video and for more such videos please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and one last thing before leaving don't forget to hit the bell icon because every time we come online you will get notified see you signing off this was shamli shivalko from bloggers ideas and i'm expecting you guys to please go and hit the bell icon and the subscribe to our channel to get more such valuable lessons